Friends and lovers, welcome to the impressions for Far Cry 3 Classic Edition, Edition Classique. They can't call it Definitive Edition. They can't call it Complete Edition, because it's not, because it doesn't have the multiplayer. I don't know if you remember this at all, but Far Cry 3 had multiplayer. Team Deathmatch Domination had it all. It didn't need multiplayer, and as we can see right now, multiplayer was pretty pointless long term, but try telling that to game publishers last generation, where everything, no matter what, what it was needed a multiplayer mode and if it had co-op all the better they loved co-op back then but this one is what it is it's Far Cry 3 again and you know it's on new consoles now and okay there it is I'm glad it came out though gave me an excuse to go back and revisit it because Far Cry 3 was pretty good though going through the motions again it really is an example of the best and the worst of the ubification process whereby every single game Ubisoft makes is practically the same in this one we have some really well written characters great dialogue very memorable scenes a relatively interesting story with a nice progression and sense of development Development, although it is a bit mighty whitey, we got to admit that. Actually, scratch that, I don't need to deal with the people who want video games to be considered serious art, yet want to shield them from any serious artistic criticism. Heaven forbid I make an offhand reference to a very real trope, because otherwise I'll get novellas in the comment sections again. The story missions are bombastic, they marry great music to the visuals, there are real gripping, intense action sequences, stuff that makes you think, okay, this is what Far Cry should be. The big open Open map is both a hit and a miss, again the best and the worst of the Ubisoft process. On the good side, it's got a satisfying repetitive gameplay loop, yes it is a lot of recycled stuff, but sometimes, in moderation, that can be fine. It makes the game into something of a stress ball, there's a comfort to the pattern of the gameplay loop, as they like to call these things. But on the flip side of that, it's a lot of recycled nebulous stuff. Stuff. Collect 20 of these, pick up 50 of this, go clear out this many bandit camps. It's just so much, and it's not really tempered with much in the way of compelling side quest material. And yes, it's very easy to rag on the game for its ubiquitous radio towers, but that's because it's very legitimate as a criticism, that's why it's so easy. There are so many fucking radio towers, and the game constantly harasses you to unlock them. The game loves radio towers. You you go to a shop, you just want to buy some ammo, but the woman's there constantly. Unlock the radio towers, unlock the radio towers. Why aren't you unlocking radio towers, you piece of shit? And they're not fun at all. These are some of the worst. It's just this really sluggish climb up a bit of metal. It's one of those gameplay choices, like co-op sequences where you've got to watch the same door being opened again and again. Or five second interactive sequences between cutscenes where you just walk from one spot to the next. The sort of sequence that makes you want to sit one of the developers down and just straightforward ask them why? Why did you come up with this? Why did you put it in the game? Why did you think this was a good idea? You know this isn't fun. This is not fun. This isn't really gameplay at the end of the day. What compelled you to put it in? What was the reason? There's no reason, no visible reason, other than to pad out for time. In a game that's already got so much repetitive recycled shit that it don't need any more padding. It's not well designed, it's not enjoyable to play, other games manage just fine without it, so why? When it's not wasting your time though, Far Cry 3 is an enjoyable ride. It's got lots of explosions, solid combat, the blend between stealth and action is nailed really nicely here, it's a really good balance where all the options are viable. Unless a mission specifically says you can't, you can approach any mission, all guns blazing or all sneaky peeky, whatever you want really. I've also always liked Far Cry's takedown system, where you don't have to be brushed up literally against somebody's ass in order to take them out stealthily. The activation range for takedowns is rather generous between you and the enemy, allowing you when you press the takedown button to rush up and clear the distance and just run them through. And it always looks really good and it feels great to pull off and it does allow you, uh, similar to something like uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, where you're not instantly in trouble if you get spotted. You've got that window of opportunity to take them out, which is very movies if you'll pardon 
the comparison. It's a very action movie approach to stealth gameplay. That said, Far Cry 3 has some peculiarities that have never sat well. Inventory management is one of the big issues. Your loot bag is used to carry valuables, animal skins, herbs, you know, things that you need for crafting as well as for making money. And once they're full up, you can't pick anything else up. So if you come across loot containers, you just got to leave them lying there. Otherwise, you won't get the stuff inside. You are constantly in and out of the menu crafting stuff. And if you want a bigger wallet, if you want a bigger loot bag, so you can actually make use of the stuff you're finding, you got to go hunting for animals, taking their skins, hoping your loot bag, of course, has enough slots for said skins, using them to craft new stuff. And really, you get to a point where you're crafting things just to get to what you feel is an acceptable level. So you're like, I'm wasting my time getting this wallet up to what I consider a reasonable wallet size so I can carry a reasonable amount of money. It's just a waste of time. Don't make me work to get my inventory up to a decent level. Start decent and let me work to make it better, not work to make it good or tolerable. In a similar vein, some of the stuff you're expected to level up and spend skill points on, it's just baffling. It makes you wonder, why am I supposed to level up to do this? Full damage is one of the biggest ones. You get to unlock a skill later on in the game that lets you absorb 25% of full damage. Sounds great, sounds like a bonus. Except, as with some of the inventory management stuff, you're leveling up to get to where you should have started the game. Let me explain. The full damage in Far Cry 3 is ludicrous. If you are going down an incredibly shallow hill on a paved road, and when I say shallow, I mean maybe once every few feet you'll see a foot height difference. If you jump on that road, you can lose up to a full bar of health. Hell, maybe even more now that I think about it. It's ludicrous. In no Far Cry game since, and in no other game, have I ever feared jumping from one bit of the floor I'm on to the next bit of the floor I'm on because I could lose a whole bar of fucking health. It's unrealistic to the point of shattering one's suspension of disbelief because you're wondering why the bloke has Twixes for legs and if he does have Twixes for legs, why is he running about in the jungle and not being delicious somewhere? Far Cry 3 really is a game of extremes. Some of the missions, some of the sequences are wonderful, mind-blowing almost, and for the time, really well done, really well put together. Most of it still holds up without issue. The voice acting is superb because while some of the writing is spotty, the voice actors carry it perfectly. Michael Mando as Vass is just wonderful. I love Michael Mando. I damn near shit when I saw he was in Spider-Man Homecoming and when they called him Matt Gargan, I was like, oh, Fuck, I thought they were just going to have him as a bit part, but if he's the bloody scorpion, I'm all in there. But for all of its polish and its explosive set pieces and its by now obligatory menacing monologues, Far Cry 3 has so many flaws that make you sit back and just wonder what were they bloody thinking? Plus, you can only shoot so many tigers in the face with a shotgun and gut them before you think, you know what, this is starting to be a little bit demoralizing. And that's Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. It's Far Cry 3, but classic.